Hey everyone, Mark the Movie Man here, and I hope after my review today, you will still respect me in the morning. Or at least call me a cab. Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. So glad you could attend. On the chopping block today is a film that was anticipated by many and feared by most in the horror movie-watching community, and that is words that I never thought I'd hear myself saying, the Evil Dead Remake. Yes, Evil Dead Remake. Now, this time around, we get a group of friends who go out to the cabin in the woods, if you will, and uh, this time around, though, this group of friends, there's a brother and sister and their friends, they go out to the woods to help the sister get clean. She's a junkie and they want to help her finally go cold turkey. Well, when one of the friends happens across the book that is bound in human skin, uh, they end up releasing an evil force that wants to take out each and every one of them. Yes, Evil Dead Remake. Now, I know many out there, I've been trying to avoid reviews, but I just, in general, the vibe amongst many of the horror movie watching fans is that they didn't like this movie at all. And, in fact, they said people who did like this movie uh, may be of lesser um, mental capacities, if you will. Uh, well, then I must be one of those groups, because I enjoyed the Evil Dead remake. Now, I'm going to preface this by saying I approached this, though, not like a remake, but like it's just a standalone horror film. Like, I was just going to this horror film, okay? And the reason I did that is because there's no way I knew it was going to capture anything really solid from the original, okay? There's just there's just nothing you could do that. So I just approached it, separated that from this, and just went in hoping to get a decent horror film. And that's what I think I got out of this. For one, you get practical effects, which is great to see in a modern horror film. Now, not all of them are practical effects, but there's a hell of a lot more than what we've seen in many of the other horror horror films that have come out recently from Schlollywood, so it was great to see those effects. Definitely gave it kind of that vintage horror style, and vintage I mean the 80s horror style. And there's other glimpses and bits in this directing style and the style of the film that definitely give a feel of a more 80s type of horror than a modern horror, though I would have liked to see him go completely. I mean, there's hints of it here and there, but director uh, Fede uh, Alvarez uh, you know, he gives us hints and kind of feels in a few scenes in here that really felt like old 80s type of horror, but then he, he kind of went modern again, and, and I would have liked to see him go full Monty with the 80s horror. I think they could have sold it a little bit better, and maybe even made it more palatable to uh, some of the diehard horror fans out there. Uh, you, you know, I love the gore effects, and especially uh, the effects they did on the possessed people. You see that in the trailer. It's, Freaky, creepy-ass makeup. So great production design. I loved all the look of the film. But especially, I loved the performance of Jane Levy, the girl who plays Mia, the sister trying to get clean, and kind of the one that the story centers around. Loved her performance. Every scene she was in, she just she just sold every scene and helped carry a number of scenes. Now, unfortunately, they didn't develop the other characters, so they just ended up kind of feeling like demon fodder, and you don't really care for the rest of them, uh, except uh, maybe the kind of geeky guy with the hair, uh, long hair. Maybe I, I just liked him because I could kind of relate, though I don't have the long hair anymore. Another one that I liked, I did like the bits that they did throw in there, nods to the original, uh, especially in the background and in the yard and that. You'll, you'll see them if you ever seen the original. I did like those pieces of it, uh, you know, that they, they were trying to give a nod to it. Uh, but in general, though, it's a decent modern horror film. Now, is it a decent remake compared to the original? That is the one that set a lot of the horror community on fire. So that I will leave up to you. Now, there are some things that I didn't quite care for in this film. I'm not saying it's a perfect horror film by any means. One of them was the soundtrack, okay? There was kind of this air raid siren type of thing they were doing with the soundtrack, with the music, and so sometimes the music fit the situation, and then sometimes the music really didn't fit the situation. I mean, at all, to the point where it was noticeable, and it took me kind of away a bit from the 
film. Also, what took me away was the, mo the, the, the overuse of jump scene, uh, uh, you know, jump scares. Okay, you get those in horror films, and a couple of them are expected, and they're kind of fun to get. But after a while, it gets too gimmicky, expected, and cliche, and you know it's coming, and it's kind of a cheap way out to scare the audience. And you didn't need that in a film like this. You've got plenty of other grotesque and horrific things to scare people with on the screen that you don't need to do so many jump scares. But I think that's because uh, the, the director Fede uh, Alvarez, this is his full fe first feature, and a hell of a project to take on as your full first feature. And I think he was trying to, you know, maybe falling back on that because that maybe was what he was comfortable with. You know, and, and then the, the force, the evil force that you've seen in the first one that for many of you, you know, where you travel through the woods net, they kind of give that one a little bit more of an identity, and I didn't need that. I felt that was saying the audience wasn't smart enough to try to put things together. I, I don't think you needed a little more identity to that uh, uh, visually for that. I think the mystery behind just moving through the woods and what was it exactly moving through the woods, I like that better uh, than uh, you know any type of more visual cue of the uh, evil force out there. So with those in mind and the fact that I approached this as a regular, just new standalone horror film, I really enjoyed it. With its buckets of blood and practical gore, I gave it four stubs. Yes, I know. I'm setting myself up to be flamed by many of my friends out there who really liked the horror film, especially the classic. But what? I can't, you know, I can't deny it. I had a lot of fun at the theater, especially watching the old couple in front of us turn our, their heads away every two minutes as something grotesque happened. And maybe that helped in my enjoyment of the movie. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut, folks. Until next time, keep that ticket stuff.